Hello, my name is Dale Dowden, and today I'm going to show you how to collect logs for ESM and ArcSight ESM 7.2 and higher. For any version prior to 7.2, if you open a support ticket, someone from the support team can um, give you a script that you would need to follow these steps here in this video. So the first thing you do is connect into your ESM server and then CD into OPT ArcSite Manager bin. Once here, you can see that there is a script that starts with TDSW. So there's two scripts here. You could use either one of them. Uh, we typically just still stick with the version 7, but you're free to use either one you want. And you just simply run that script like this, and it will prompt you for the database password. As it stands now, it's required that you know the database password to continue collecting the logs. Um, hopefully, we'll have a new version sometime soon that will allow you to continue and bypass that portion. Once you enter the database password, it begins its log collection. Um, this will run for, oh, probably about 20 to 30 minutes um, to collect everything that it does. It's going to collect most of the stuff via, or not via, um, most of the logs, configuration files, and, and things like that that support would need um, to generally troubleshoot most of your most of the issues being reported um, so this will run it takes about 30 minutes and what you can do I've already run this um, previously so what you do then is once it completes you can go to opt arc site manager temp tmp and what you'll see here is a tarball gets created with tdsw logs dot the version number and host name and date um, once you have this if you get that over to a support ticket and support can start investigating and helping you to troubleshoot this issue Again, this is for 7.2 and later. If you have versions prior to 7.2, if you just contact support, someone can get you the script and assist you. Thank you. Once again, my name is Dale Dowden, and I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this.